What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, happy Wednesday in the middle of June. Today, I think it's Flag Day, maybe? June 14th, but welcome in. Today, we're going to go over, or tonight, it's the evening, we're going to go over some uh, sales I had over the past uh, day and a half. I think I counted around 26 items I sold, maybe 28, but some of them were combined shipping. So, what's up? Welcome in. This is... Uh, uh, live, so if you're watching this on YouTube later, you know that's why I'm answering the questions. So as always, I pick everything out from my inventory. I have about 80 bins in my basement. I do it all from my phone. I print off all my labels. I put everything in, in the pile. So I have my first class, my priority, my priority flat rate, uh, padded flat rate. I don't have anything that's shipping off in boxes tonight. So everything is kind of nickel and dime. You and K-Way, or going live at the same time night. All right. All right. So I am just going over some sales. So for those people who are just learning and watching, these are the things that I pick up. A lot of people come into my lives during the day and ask me questions. Uh, so these are the these are the items. Everything I buy is all the shirts are four dollars, five dollars. Pants are four or five dollars. Jeans are seven, which I only have one pair. Um, so that gives you an idea of how much I am uh, buying everything for. So you're going to see a common theme with everything here. Very common theme. So what's up, Casey? Uh, yep, they are. I figured they probably would be. Um, so this is the first item that sold. It is a Vineyard Vines performance, which I really like picking up these performance. When I went to a pro shop the other day at a private uh, country club, they were selling Vineyard Vines performance shirts in the club shop for like 100 bucks. So these always sell pretty well for me. I pick them up when I can. Sold it for $22.79, which means it was an auto posture sale. Sent out a best offer, 5% off, uh, because I don't price anything at 79 cents. So that sold, again, only paid $5. And of course, with everything I sell, buyer pays shipping. And if you have any questions along the way, go ahead and ask. Thanks for the thanks for the hearts along the way. Um, again, pulled off. I always make sure it's going to the right person because I hate making that mistake, which in the beginning, of course, I've done it. We've all done it. Shipped the wrong item to the wrong person. And then you uh, have to um, send that refund, right? Um, Got to choose. Uh, so Foot Joy. Uh, Foot Joy, these actually have just gone straight down the drain for me. So I have end up, what I'm doing with these are, they're straight surfs up fines. So my method where I buy items uh, for $5 and I list them in less than two minutes, about two minutes, I can take the pictures and list them. Foot Joy is in that category now. So Foot Joy, I make about 10 to $12 profit off these and call it a day, unless it's something really special, like a special pattern, a special size, or a special golf course. That would be the only difference. Sometimes they have a Titleist logo right here um, on the sleeve, and that would be a reason to get those. Those go for like 70 bucks, I believe. So uh, this one sold for 18. So I paid for selling it for 18 after fees with eBay, da 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 da. I'm gonna be making like 10 to $12 off of it. So again, those are gonna become a surf up find. Um, I'm only gonna list them during the spring and summer. Of course. I'll uh, answer your questions. Foot Joy is as good as it was years ago. Um, yeah, not real great. I do like picking up Foot Joy pants, athletic fit. And again, like the jackets, the pullovers, there are Foot Joys, but as far as polos go, they're just not super popular. Uh, this is a brand everyone should know by now. It might be backwards. It's Brioni. So I just listed this yesterday uh, and it sold in a day, obviously. Uh, it sold for 33.14. I was looking up sold comps and they were anywhere between like 30 and 40 dollars for this particular style of shirt. So I priced it right in the middle and someone was interested, Auto Posture sent out at a 5% discount. So Brioni. Uh the low key entertainment. Yeah. So again, this is kind of meant for those people that are just starting out. So getting to know your brands, knowing how much I paid for it, paid $4 Turn that into thirty three fourteen. Um, a simple buy, but Brioni is definitely a brand you want to be on the lookout for. In suits, blazers, jackets, um, pants, dress shirts, ties, anything. Brioni is super high class. If you've been to Vegas, they have a Brioni store, and I think it's called the uh, whatever's connected to Caesar's Palace, whatever that big 
building is a Coliseum, I think. Um, they have Brioni. So, of course, I want to make sure it's going out to the right person. And it is. So, that sold in a day. So, that sold in a day. People in my chat were like, today, what, how what, how long do you want to hold on to something? How long? Well, the second I list it, I would say now, the things I'm sourcing, um, I want them to sell within 90 days. That's my goal. Sell within 90 days. What kind of uh, hat am I wearing? This is a California hat. Um, so when I went to visit California, my roommate lives in LA, my roommate from college, I went and got this hat. Um, and then I also have my Costa Rica hat. One year ago, I went on a 10 year anniversary to Costa Rica. Highly recommend Costa Rica, it was awesome. So right here is a Polo Ralph Lauren. I was really surprised this didn't sell for more. It's unique, it has this unique color. I had two of them. The blue one sold about a month or two ago, and then this one finally sold with that pocket. I, I figured this would sell for like $25. I was pretty pumped when I found it. Um, I only sold it for 18 bucks, so that's okay. I mean, I made a profit on it, obviously. My 10 to $12, so I'll take it. Oh, let me make sure. Um, that's a nice shirt. Thank you, Steph. Hello, what's up, TJ? So if you guys see in the background, I picked up something new today. You know my collection. Uh, all of us thrifters, we ha we collect things, right? One thing or another. Um, good guy, K-Way, collects his Coogees. I collect my champion jerseys. I used to collect the antiques. I still have those. But I got this Toon Squad right here today. Uh, it's not champion, but I picked it up. It was three ninety nine. dollars I was like, I got to get that. Got to get it. Going to add it to the collection. So... Size, any size 16 shoes? Yep, Felix, I got them for you tonight. I'm going to contact you tonight and a couple other people. So um, this is a just a regular Under Armour polo. Again, just like Foot Joy, these are going to be a surf's up type of, of listing from now on. These just do not sell unless they have something special about them. Again, size, pattern, uh, course. So right here, and the reason being, I find these at Ross for like $24 brand new with tags. So there's no way I'm going to get $25 when I'm competing with Ross, brand new with tags. Uh, Under Armour Polo, $16.99. I paid $4. So I got my $10 profit out of that. You see the theme. A lot of golf apparel selling. Polos. A lot of polos. Looney Tunes, I know. You guys want to guess who's on the back of that one? So they make a few different ones. You can take a guess on who's the, on the back of that that tune squad. So that's going first class. It's going to Gabe. Again, I always double check who I'm shipping it to. Uh, let's see. If, uh, let me do. What size is that? Up? Taz Elmore? No. Uh, is that Under Armour? That was a medium. That was a medium Under Armour, which is just a meh size. Um, and it's a meh color. It's just navy blue. Um, but I, I've been selling them. So for $17, I pick them up. I sell them, so I have the templates already there. I can take pictures and list them in two minutes. Literally, I can tie myself. So, Bugs Bunny. Bugs. You got it first. There you go. Good job. Yep, it's Bugs Bunny. Number one, Bugs Bunny. So, I put the Jordan next to it. Put the Jordan next to it. These, you know I love picking these up. Just like the Under Armour pants. Just like the Adidas pants. I'm like a broken record. But this time of year... Any of these pants or shorts that have this type of waistband, they all look the same. They're all like a 360 stretch. This is a standard fit a Nike pair of pants, 34 by 32, which is like the perfect size to sell. Um, they sold for 22 bucks, 22 bucks. So what's up, Amy D? Um, 22 bucks again, I had 4.99 into those. And those again take me no time all this spring stuff takes me no time to list so as soon as you get your store up and running and you find the same items over and over again it's it's worth it it's worth it like today someone asked in my live what's the minimum i'll take if it's an item that i can list in under two minutes ten dollars is my minimum but if it's a new item that i have to look up the listing i have to find the comp i'd have to write a new description i have to change all the colors change the size the description i just copy and paste change the shipping. That's like an eight minute process compared to a two minute process. So my minimum on, on just new items are pro is probably like 20 bucks. So I found some Adidas ones today at $3 of my mom and pop thrift. Nice. Yeah. So I call them uh, the 360s. If you found the, 
the uh, Adidas. I sell those for like eighteen eighty eight plus buyer pay shipping. Thoughts about shoes at Goodwill? I buy lots of shoes. Um, no, I don't. I'm trying to buy less shoes. Less shoes. They used to be four ninety nine where I lived. Where I live now. Oh, there you go. Someone. Um, they used to be four ninety nine. Any pair of shoes. So I would buy. I would get shoes a lot. I really dwindled down. Um, I have to have a good profit margin on shoes, and I don't want to spend a lot of time cleaning them. But I do like getting shoes. I do like getting shoes. Ever heard of Scotty Cameron? Yes. So if you guys find a Scotty Cameron, Peter Malo, that's the creme de la creme of uh, Peter Millar. Peter Millar. Um, I found some. Yep. Um, but yeah, so those are the creme de la creme. Scotty Cameron, Peter Millar. You hit the lottery. This is a brand they also had in that PGA uh, that PGA uh, shop I went into. So that shop is a private course. I just I wore I wore like a a, a, a nice polo and some shorts and a nice belt and everything and like a, a Titleist hat and just walked right in, acted like I owned the place. Um, but this is one of the brands they were selling, Turtleson, um, and this is a specific course. I don't know it. Um, I think I looked it up online. It is, I couldn't find the course. So anyways, this is a good brand, Turtleson. I pick it up, if I find it for four bucks or five bucks, it's sold for $21. Um, do I do estate sales too? Estate sales, gonna make me cry. They were my, they were my, my fave. So my dad ran estate sales for 20 years. And that's what got me started when I was in high school. So in 2001 is when I started my eBay store. And that's all I did was antiques and collectibles. So at an early age, that's how I got started with it. Um, but the whole game with estate sales have changed. Now with the internet, a lot of them around me do just auctions and you go and pick up the items uh, when you win. There are very few mom and pop estate sale companies now. Um, so garage sales, church sales. Church sales are my very favorite. So again, $21, that's out the door. Um, here you go, here's another one. Uh, also, if you find a Scotty Cameron putter or head cover, um, I don't know Scotty Cameron putter or head cover. My guess is they do well. Um, I've never found one, uh, to be honest, where I live. they Anything that's really nice, it's a hard good, they uh, put aside and put it on shopgoodwill.com but I might find that stuff at like a Salvation Army or garage sale or church sale or something. But check out these. I always say the bigger the better. Everyone knows that if you're a reseller. If you don't, you should know it by now, especially in men's clothing, but it depends on the brand. So Adidas is a good brand. Bigger the better, size 52 pants or shorts, I should say. Again, common theme, that 360 Nike or that 360 Golf, uh, these are Adidas. These sold for 20, uh, twenty-two dollars, and they're gonna go priority because they're a little bit heavier. So they're a little bit heavier, so they're gonna go priority. Um, so you can see, normally I sell those for eighteen eighty-eight, but because they were bigger, I got an, I squeezed out an extra four dollars out of them. So squeezed out an extra four dollars. I'll answer your questions here in a second. Make sure it's going to the right person, Isaiah. So going to Isaiah on its way. Um. That's how I'm still learning from your dad. Yeah, it was awesome. So I learned all that from my dad. If when I do tomorrow night, I'll do my live uh, thrift at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll do that in my antiques room. And all that stuff came from estate sales that I bought throughout the years. Um, I always always kept the nicest of the nice. That's just kind of how I rolled. Um, my Salvation Army wouldn't no Lululemon if it hit them in the face. I know our Salvation Army doesn't either. But the thing is, before COVID, I would go in Salvation Army. And every time I'd get a cart full, and it'd be like two nine nine, three nine nine, four nine for everything, and it would be you name it, vintage, new jerseys like this, everything, um, Harley Davidson jackets, all that stuff. And then, ever since COVID, they they said they can't hire enough people, they don't get enough inventory. It's it's like it's like a graveyard to be honest. Um, Kohl's has a clearance right now, and everything left is two thirds off. Nice. Um, so here are a pair of Peter Millar pants that I sold. Usually, I'm not a huge fan of the cotton twill pants, but these were a bigger size. They were size 38 by 35. 
So these things are long. And I love buying long pants, and I say this all the time. The longer, the better on the M seam because it hits those tall people and people can uh, change, they can have it tailored to whatever size they are. So if something is like a 38-30, tall people ha can't get that. But if they're 38-35, they, they're good for tall people and shorter people um, and middle people, whatever. This is going out in a padded flat rate, free from the postal service uh, to Michael. Uh, two, three times. Nice. Hey, Joel, what's up? I found a new with tags, men, Lulu pants there too. Six bucks. I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, I need to, uh, congratulations, Joel, for getting a thousand too, by the way. I was there for that. I was in there for that. You know, I was, um, but yeah, they, I don't know. I wish it, I wish it go back, but I can't think about the past and like dwelling on Goodwill's high prices. You guys know me when I thrift, I'm not going to sit there and, and complain and dwell. Uh, I have students that work at Goodwill. It is what it is. You just got to be more creative. You got to find new ways. I'm still making, I'm doing better than I ever have. So with all the price increases, those sold for $24, by the way. Again, plus buyer pays shipping. Don't judge me on this. This is random. Any Western pants? No. Um, I was hyped my full time. Yep. At my full time. Yep. I would be too, man. So random don't buy this. I thought it might have been vintage. It wasn't. Um, but I still got some money out of it. So it's a, a Slipknot sweatshirt. So it had some cool graphics and whatever. I thought it was vintage. It wasn't. My mistake. I paid $5 for it. I sold it for 18 So, hey, thank you. Um, so I can't be upset about that. It's not a failure. But if this was truly vintage, it should be like probably 50 to 80 bucks. So... That's all right. When I have an uh-oh, I always usually make money anyways. Thanks again. Thanks for that. Um, I still make money. I'm doing it long enough. Now, at the beginning, of course, I made uh-ohs. I would go and buy like, oh, J. Crew is really good. I'm going to go buy a whole bunch of J. Crew shorts because they sell at the mall for a lot of money. That wasn't a good decision. So, end up holding the bag on those for a long time. That's going out priority. And... Next up, this is a new uh, Scotty Cameron polo. This was new to me. Didn't sell for near what Scotty Cameron sells for. But um, this is a Bubba Watson Oakley. Uh, we found this live not too long ago. I think we were live. Um, Bubba Watson Oakley, if you don't know who he is, he, he actually won the Masters maybe like eight years ago. But pro golfer, um, I, I just picked it up because it was an Oakley and it had the Bubba. So I figured it'd be worth a lot more money. It wasn't. Still for $17. When I looked up the comps, I was very surprised it wasn't worth more money than I got. Um, yeah, I love Oakley too. Um, bye, Steph. So, I got something for you guys. Um, well, I'll just tell you now. Uh, it's on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you can. YouTube, all my stuff's in my link tree. Uh, if you're on YouTube, it's in my description and it's in my link tree on my bio and TikTok, but so that sold for 17 but i went to i went to costco today and got some uh got some pointers they sell oakley polos there they sell oakley uh shorts there they sell orvis shirts there they sell spider there they sell banana republic there they sell um izod hurley I saw all sorts of brands that I'm like, oh, and I took video and I put it. It's on my Instagram story, so it's only going to be available for like a little bit. I might throw it up on something, but it was very eye-opening, so you got to be careful. Here's a Lululemon. You already know it because it has the three little marks right there, and then the hits on the bottom. White, uh, it was a size small. You got to be careful with white any Lululemon because it will stain easily. So I checked this one over a few times. Uh, probably didn't get a ton for that. Yeah, 21 21 That was an auto posher. Uh, you were just there today, Susie. Yep. Costco. I missed the beginning. It's okay. Um, if you guys miss this, you know I always post it on YouTube later. So you can catch up. Uh, a lot of people during the day that, that thrift with me always have a lot of questions about, like, you know, starting out and everything. And these are just kind of some simple items that are cheap that sell this time of year. I mean, have I, I don't think I've sold anything that wasn't polo. That Brioni, I mean, that wasn't golf. That Brioni is the only thing I think I sold that wasn't golf and the Slipknot 
and the Slipknot. So this was a good sale. Also, what I've been doing, would you sell any of those jerseys? No, these are these are my jerseys. I, I sell some jerseys, but I just have a thing. Like, these are all people I grew up with. Grant Hill. Um, I, I grew up with uh, Toon Squad, watching it with Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller, Barkley, all of them. Larry Bird, Iverson, all these guys. I grew up with them. The only person I'm missing is Kobe Bryant. Jalen Rose back there. That's how I grew up with. So that's, it's not a money monetary thing. It's just kind of like a cool little background thing. People I grew up with. But what I've been doing, um, what I've been doing lately, if you can see right here, and I said this, uh, recently, um, in a lot of my listings, I put combined shipping in the title. So if it's a, if it's a polo like these, like a, like a Peter Millar or Under Armour or Nike or whatever, I just put combined shipping in the in the uh, title because I have enough words for it. And what happens, I've, it's, it happened yesterday, it happened today, it's happened multiple times. People end up buying more than one item. So this guy bought four items, an Under Armour, a Peter Millar, again, 360 Under Armour shorts. I sell these all the time. This is what the, I have sold a Nike and Adidas and an Under Armour in this set. And then this is a pair of Lululemon shorts, size 32. So he bought all these. I'm sending them uh, in one padded flat rate envelope, and he's getting a nice little discount on all of it. Uh, not a discount, but uh, he gets to save shipping because I'm lotting it all together. And again, I have buyer pay shipping. You guys know that. Um, I got a Kobe if you're interested. I have to see the thing is, again, my I'm weird. I have to um, thrift it myself. I won't buy it. Um, actually there's someone I know right now that has a Travis best. I live in Indianapolis. And I was been a Pacer fan my whole life. They have a Travis best signed Jersey. Uh, and it has this Jalen Rose stripes right there pattern. Um, but I'm not going to buy it from them because I didn't thrift it. That's just kind of my quirk. It's kind of my quirk. So anyway, yeah, that's, that all sold to the same guy. I want to make sure it's going to him. And again, I put it all in a priority padded flat rate. So if you're not familiar with shipping materials, I have a video on that. Um, can you make make a video of how to refund the extra shipping? So I do that for my computer, super easy. Um, I could just do a live one night and, and maybe just have everyone come in and ask me questions about stuff like that, have my computer, but it's super easy. Um, once you, once you ship the label, so I print the label and then I go back in and send refund and I click shipping, um, as like the reason why. And then I put in the description combined shipping and then I put how much and it just sends them a refund. It's really quick. It takes like literally 30 seconds. It's no big deal. Um, Iowa. So here we go. No one picks these up, right? I do. Again, surf's up method. I'm I'm into the stuff that no one picks up that I can flip. I can list in two minutes and and uh, sell for ten dollars or more. So these are Callaway shorts. These are not my favorite uh, waistband, so I priced them just a little bit cheaper. But I listed a pair of red ones. They're right over there, just like them. Super easy to to list. Super easy to ship. Again, fifteen dollars is what I sold them for. Um, see yeah so that i callaway is one of those brands that they sell at like ross or whatever but i picked these up for three bucks 350 and I, I sell them for 15 i just make that ten dollars and you can see how it just all adds up all those little ten dollars especially this time of year once winter hits it's a whole different ball game your items sell for a lot more right now we're talking polos we're talking all that sort of stuff again another nike polo $17.99, surfs up method. Takes me two minutes to list it. Um, do extended waist sell better for you? Um, are you talking about the extended waist like they have the expanders like that on the sides, on the hips? Um, or are you talking about the waist that I've been discussing in the video that are like stretchy? The stretchy waist do sell. That's why I pick all those up if that's what you're talking about. So like we went over, I sold the Nike, the Adidas, Nala Callaway and uh, an Under Armour. So really all four major brands uh, I sold. 
Again, that's just that Nike sold for 17 something, made 10, 12 bucks off that. Here's a good brand. Um, what Florida t-shirts are collectible? I'm in Gainesville and you mentioned you found one. Yeah, so that was a good story. So when I went on spring break, we stopped in Lakeland, Florida, which is this like no man's land in the central northern part of Florida. Stopped at the hotel and guess what was right next door? A Goodwill. So you know I went over there. I mean, had to. I ended up finding stuff. And one of them was a vintage, um, like, Rose Bowl. It was the Gators versus the um, the Seminoles, actually. And, like, a Rose Bowl and Orange Bowl or something. Um, I just looked for a single stitch. I looked for the year. It had the year on it because it was the actual game. It didn't sell for a ton. It some sold for, like, 25 bucks, um, But it was a good pickup. Um, next item that I sold was a brand you should all be familiar with. You probably already are. Cool. Again, shorts. Hiking, I sell year-round. I will list hiking year-round. You know I'm a seasonal seller, but I will list hiking and golf pants year-round. Not golf shorts, golf pants year-round. So these are going to Norman. They're going to Norman, and they actually are going in a flat rate envelope. So how about stretch waist and jeans? Um, give me an example. I don't know if I sell many stretch waist. I know a lot of people are into like page jeans and stuff. I don't actually even sell page too much, but they have that little bit of a last stain in them where they're stretchy all the way around. Um, not too much though in jeans. Actually, the more popular jeans are like the salvage jeans, the ones that have no stretch. They're like pure raw denim. Uh, those do really well for me. Again, uh, cool shorts. They sold for 24 bucks. I took, uh, that was an auto posture sale too. Um, and here's something that no one, no one likes to get. Um, so this is a Ralph Lauren extra small. No one likes to pick up extra small. No one likes smaller extra small. Heck yeah, I'll pick it up because there are a lot of people that wear it and you don't find it very often. So this sold just as good as all my other polo Ralph Lauren's $14.99. I uh, buy it for five. It takes me 30 seconds to take pictures and literally 30 seconds to list. I can list this pictures and list it in under two minutes. So $10 in under two minutes. You cannot beat that. Uh, that's super good money, especially if you're part-time hustling. Like this is a part-time job. I mean, it's super good money. You know, do a few of those a night. That's 30 bucks. That's dinner. Um, let's go into Tucker. Uh, women will wear that size. Yeah. Is that free shipping? No. So everything I sell is buyer pay shipping. So I've always done buyer pay shipping. Um, I've toyed around with free shipping a long time ago. I don't do it. A lot of people do free shipping. It's kind of uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. People do free shipping and then they price their item a little higher. And then I do buyer pay shipping and I price my item a little lower. So they all even out usually unless you're giving your items away, which could happen. Uh, I mean, I have undersold my items before. So what's up, Brock? How you doing? So here's another polo rough or a, not a polo, but a polo by Nike. Again, simple. I, I literally just listed this. I pulled it out. So what I do, I take, I take all my pictures upstairs on the floor, on the hardwood floor. You can look at my eBay store. I bring them down here and then I sort them out into my bins. This one, I didn't even sort out yet with that Brioni. So this one literally just sold like overnight. Um, Fourteen ninety nine, another ten dollar, ten dollar seller. So you can see how it just adds up, and then you get those Brionis, and then you get to the 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 winter time, and or you get to the suits this time of year that you get those big sales or the shoes. Those get those are the bigger sales. Here's something I wouldn't normally pick up, but I did. So thoughts on eBay auctions versus buy it now. I only do auctions on rare items. So you might see me list stuff or um, do videos on auctions. It's only because it's a rare, unique item. Like maybe a pair of Jinkos or, or a Kuji sweater or a signed jersey or an antique that I that is there's no comps for. I'll run an auction like that. So 99.9% .9 of my items are all uh, buy it now or best offer. Anything under $20 is usually buy it now with no best offer. Like those, my Surf's Up Method items that are under 20, I don't have best offer for those. They're simply that low price and they sell. So this is Gap. Don't normally buy Gap, but it was new with tags 
and it had this really cool print. So I saw this print, I thought it was pretty cool, and it had something I've never seen before. You guys know the brand Untuck It? You can, it's backwards for you, but this says Gap Untucked. So it says Gap Untucked, so it's a little bit shorter. So I picked that one up, new with tags, for $4.50, $4.99, sold it for $18.88. I don't normally pick up Gap. Thoughts? Um, yeah, so that's how I do um, my... Hold on a second. That's how I do my, um, that's how I do my, um, sorry, train of thought. Lost my train of thought. I was messing with that. Uh, anyways, 1888 is what I sold that for. Normally I don't buy Gap. I, I can't remember the last time I bought Gap. Maybe like a wool mint's cardigan with, um, leather buttons. That might be the last time I bought Gap. I don't think I buy anything Gap. Um, J. Crew's another story. There's a lot of J. Crew that I will buy that are that are nicer J. Crew items. Um, again, broken record over here. Um, Oakley polo shirt, golf. What's a seasonal selling? This is why I'm a seasonal seller. So I buy everything uh, in the winter and fall that is summer and spring, and I list it this time of year, and I'm selling out of it like crazy. So that's why I'm a seasonal seller. So right now I have 20 huge bins, totes full of winter stuff that I'm just waiting till September 1st. Um, that just has worked for me over the past few years and that's what gets me all the sales. Um, so that's going to Keith. That one sold for $18. So I made $12 off that one. Um, thank you, thank you for it. Thank you for the hat. This is a barber. So barber, um barber linen this is actually a linen barber shirt so barber i think right tailored fit linen you can tell it's linen just by the way it is linen wrinkles pretty easily by the way but uh sold that for 26.38 again auto posture so they got five percent off so i probably listed it at like 27.99 something like that uh thank you for all you do you're you're welcome i appreciate it yeah Listen, I was a teacher. I love teaching kids. I really did. I love my career. Um, I just, I enjoy this and I just love teaching them. And my wife's always been like, you need to get on social media and teach people and, and educate them. And I'm like, shoot, I will. And I have the personality like, I'm not afraid to talk to anybody or whatever. Um, you guys go thrifting with me. I love doing it. So anyways. So Barber is a good brand. Barber is known for their wax jackets. If you find their jackets, they're wax. They're really like uh, cringy feeling, but they're the wax jackets. They're an English brand, I think, a UK brand. Those wax jackets can sell from like a hundred to four hundred dollars, depending on the size and whatever. They also have vests that are pretty nice. Um, this is a brand I don't pick up too often. Um, do you have picks and drafts of those winter items? So, um, some of them I still have like LL Bean flannels. I'm looking because I'm looking at the totes. So like LL Bean flannels, look like jeans like this. No, um, I have these, but yeah, once winter hits, a lot of those items are one offs. So I will be listing those. They'll take me a little bit more time, like five minutes per item. But those items are like jackets and pants and, and wool and sweaters. So all those items are like 35, 50, 60, 70 dollar items that sell. So my average um my average sold comp for the year is $43 per item. So my average sold item is $43. So I'm showing you all the $17 items now. Well, in the it all evens out once the winter comes along. So this is a brand our thrift stores have got our our um, speaking about Toon Squad, Toonie, Looney Tunes, our Goodwills have gotten Looney Tunes. They start selling, um, they have started to sell Lucky Brand for $19.99. I've been holding on to these for a while. I sold them for $23. Bucks. So you're going to go pay $19.99 to maybe find your size in good condition, the right style, and... Um, or you can sell on your couch at home and just order these and have them ship right to your house. So, uh, I find these all the time and they sit for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I see the purgers taking them off the racks 
and sending them to the bins. And then my friends at the bins are like, oh yeah, I find Lucky all the time at the bins. They pay $1.50 per, per pound. So Goodwill will figure that out soon. They're always a few years behind. Lucky sold much better for me years ago, like COVID or pre-COVID. So these are going out in a padded flat rate, uh, like always. Um, do thanks to one padded flat rate. So yeah. Um, what is auto posture? Good question. So auto posture is new. I was in auto posture's beta trial because probably because I have a bigger eBay store and they want to try it out with eBay, but they do, they started with Poshmark, they're a Macari and everything. So I pay $35 a month. And what happens since I have 1400 items in my store, what happens is when you have an item, you know, you can click, um, just relist after 31 days. So after 31 days, it keeps the same item ID and just relists. Keeps the item ID, relist, item ID, relist. Auto posture, two days before it relists, it completely pulls it off and it lists it with a brand new item ID. So it's a brand new item on eBay. So it sends the algorithms up in your store and this shirt up in the algorithms. So a lot of my items that have been sitting for a while have been selling because it's been taken off and put a brand new item ID and uh, put up in the algorithms of eBay, which also shows that my store is constantly active. So it's been a killer for me. $35 a month. I, I feel like it's been an employee for sure. It should be like a $400 a month um, thing. It's, so it's just rolled out now. It's official. Um, I have a link in my description, my bio. You can give it a shot. Uh, you can get $5 off if you use my code Surf's Up Finds, but it's been great. So that's number one that it does. Number two, if someone shows interest in your item, you can decide this or not. Um, and you can decide the price. If someone shows interest in my item or watches it, I send them a 5% off. It automatically does it. Auto posture does it automatically. Like my assistant, I don't even have to be there. So it'll send them a note that you personally type up. Mine's something like, hey, thank you for checking this out. If you're interested right now, I'll give you an extra 5% off. So they'll purchase it and they'll get that extra 5% off. So I get both of those things going for me. So this was an auto posture sale, 1678, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, I don't price anything at 1678. That's how I know they got 5% off of it. So about half my sales come from auto posture, um, which I love. So definitely worth it. 35 bucks a month. It's great. Um, let me answer your questions if you have some. Um, yeah. Thanks. Kayla said so. So yeah, that was, uh, actually our last item. So sorry, I went on a tangent, but auto posture has been great for me. I love it. I'll use it. Um, I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, and, uh, it's been helping with my sales. So uh, as long as you're listing all the time, keeping your store active, staying positive, don't let the thrift stores get you down or whatever. Cause they're overpriced they're overpricing everything today. Uh, inflation report came out uh, Jerome Powell came out and, and all that stuff. Inflation's crazy. They're trying to pay their employees, whatever. Work around it. Be smarter. You go live directing with me. I always say I'm going to be smarter than them and work around them. You will. So just find a new way. Be creative. But if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, you can put replay in the comments below. I appreciate you guys if you're watching me live. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go live tomorrow. Um, but definitely tomorrow night live thrifting. Tomorrow night live at 8, 8 p.m. Thursdays. Every every Thursday at 8 p.m. I go live with my haul of the week. There's usually 100 items. Uh, you can bring your notepad, bring your drink, write down all the stuff I buy. So thanks. appreciate you too, Jamie. All right. Uh, do you feel like Auto Posture gives you customers percent before they have a chance to pay full price? Um, I don't know exactly, but I did have 10% off. And I, were get, I was getting a ton of sales, so I dropped it to five. You can adjust the percent off as much as you want or not at all. You don't have to have it at all. Um, so that's just another add-on that you can have. Um, so if, if I were to recommend this to auto posture to someone, maybe with 400 items in their store, give it a try for 30 days. It'll at least take everything off and relist it as a new item. And then you can decide, um, and you can do like the 5% off for that 30 days and then decide, maybe take that 5% off and wait, see what happens. Um, and then, uh, do it again the next month maybe, or, or not. So it's up to you. You can, you can 
uh, it's not like a year membership. It's a month to month thing. So uh, hopefully that helps. Again, thanks as always. Love everybody. Good luck out there thrifting. Get some good sales. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.